Hello everyone, this is Joseph from Grayford Green. I'm going to show you how to make a simple gray water filter system for your laundry. It's made out of two types of totes, or actually one tote that is um, two sizes. This first one is a 32 quart Huffy, and the second one is a 18 quart Huffy. Inside this, this top one is actually, we drilled a number of different holes with an inch and a half drill bit. They can be sporadic, they don't have to be exact. The side hole right there, see where it's at, is for overflow. Then this filter is a basic air filter. This is, uh, you're taking a big sheet of this product right here and cut it into fours. And that's one fourth of it. it fits into the bottom, catches all the lint. The back side actually is, covers a little bit of the overflow. The overflow is so that the water doesn't flow over this particular item and then onto the onto the floor of the, the yard. The last item is an inch and a half drill, that hole that we built, put in here, and then we inserted a grommet. I think I have a sample of the grommet. This the grommet, it actually has a little lip on it. Put caulking around the edges, and then shove it in there, let it dry for a day. The lid has a two inch hole in it to allow the black pipe, so where that's where the water flows into. Put it all together, put the lid on, put it on. You're ready to go to install. Just need a little warning sign for California code. Then once you see it out in the field, we're gonna take you right after this video, we're gonna start showing some, some little scenarios of how it's been installed. We place this shelving out there and then place this right on top of it. The shelving itself we cut down to a bigger size so that it's only big enough to fit the unit itself. The filter, why did we come up with the filter? The filter, we, we saw a number of filters out there and we needed a filter for a particular gray water distribution pipe that we manufacture. This is a subsurface pipe. The water flows down these side channels and then comes out these holes that are right here in, the, in there, they're quarter inch holes so that way doesn't clog up with any of the soap scum or anything like that. It creates a saturated zone under underground, and then from there, the water then percolates up into the area of the root zones, up to four feet on each side. And we'll show that later on in other videos as well. So that's about it. The only thing that we have to think about is this product is gonna cost you about $40. That's without the tools. But if you need the tools, these are the tools that we use. This is a two inch. From this company and this is the same thing it's a little bit more beaded up but it's a inch and a half you get those at lowe's so your total cost will come out to 70 dollars if you have to buy the tools but only 40 dollars if you're just buying the different parts themselves for the gray water filter system they said we we purchase it most of the parts at lowe's the only thing you need to purchase on our website right now is the labels and the grommet Hopefully we'll get loads to carry those and that way you can just get everything at one location. Thank you for joining me and now let's go outside and see how this thing works. Thank you everyone for joining me outside, seeing all the different install, installs that we have out there. Have you noticed that most of them were, uh, had some elevation to the ground? That allows the water to accumulate within the surge tank itself and then have some head to push the water out into the yard. In some cases, some distance from where the filter was to where the yard was located at. Hope this video was helpful. We have another one coming up that will show you how to build a filter for a shower gray water system that sits at the ground level as well as can hold a pump.